Hey guys, Tom Surratt here, and this is my video that I was uh, dedicating towards, you know, the horror tag that I was just tagged in recently by Silly Louie Terror, which if you guys haven't heard of that guy, definitely go up to his uh, channel and subscribe to him and check out his videos. He's got a lot of cool stuff. I'll put his uh, his channel, you know, uh, URL or whatever down here at the uh, bottom of the description of this video, but pretty much the horror tag of, you know, stuff that, uh, like there's, I guess, 13 questions that you gotta answer, you know, uh, based on horror stuff, and I wrote mine down, and I have them all, you know, nice and neat on here and stuff, and, uh, I, I love horror films, always have, always will, it's just one of those things where I, um, it, like, has a special spot in my heart where, you know, it makes me feel good when I'm watching somebody, like, getting killed, or, you know, some creepy guy lurking around in some woods or a house or some desolate place. It's, it's fucking cool. But uh, question one was, how old were you when you saw your first horror film? Now, uh, all of these, you know, it took me a little while to, you know, think about and, you know, write down. But I don't know. I remember this uh, video rental place in my town. And me and my sister and my mother used to go all the time when uh, we were real little. And... I'd go in there and I'd pick up horror films all the time, just slow, solely based on the uh, covers. And I'd see the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Leatherface on the cover, with the eyes in the background, or, you know, I'd see, uh, like, Uncle Sam, the hologram one, you know, in there. And it was cool, and I, I don't know, I must have been probably, I gotta say, around, like, four or five years old, my mother started, like, you know, uh, exposing me and my sister to you know, the horror genre of films, and, uh, never, never, uh, turn back, just, I keep buying them and buying them and buying them, if you guys are, uh, a regular on my channel, you'll see that I'm constantly buying horror films, and I'll probably never have every horror film that I want, but I'm gonna try, and the, uh, second question is, uh, my favorite horror film, that's a very hard one, I mean, there's a lot of them I can name off that are just classics, but, uh, um, they're all so unique in so many ways. Right now, at the moment, my uh, go-to horror film would have to be... I, I didn't even write it down. I put At the moment, I'd have to say... Mm, Videodrome. Probably Videodrome. Very good, very good horror film. If you guys haven't seen that, definitely check that one out. It's a cool horror sci-fi. James Woods, Debbie Harry, you know, Sandra Smith. Cool stuff. My favorite horror actor, now that's got to be Vincent Price. It's that time of the uh, year where, you know, it's Halloween starting to come around the corner and leaves are starting to change. and It's just cool. It's going to uh, get me into that Vincent Price, you know, little thing again. It's going to be cool. I'm excited to go back and watch a bunch of his films. Just, you know, this is the time that I usually watch them every year. And uh, this is question four. My favorite horror director, David Cronenberg. Definitely David Cronenberg. He has a oh, shit ton of classic horror films. Stuff like Shivers, The Rabbit, you know, The Dead Zone. You got uh, Videodrome, got The Fly remake, got The Brood. I mean, I could keep going and going and going. And Butterfly, uh, Existence, you know, Naked Lunch, Dead Ringers. I keep going and going. But I don't know. I just love his. Uh, his filmmaking, the way he just makes things, in my opinion, is very cool. His uh, eye for horror is pretty, uh, pretty awesome. And that body horror, I've always liked that, like side subgenre. And uh, question five, favorite horror movie ending has to be probably Cabin Fever. I mean, just the fact of like you know, uh, the down home, like you know, the sudden, like you know, water getting transported that was diseased throughout the whole movie. You know, going to just the, uh, you know. The country and it's just crazy if you drink a little bit of this water you're gonna get the like sickness and it was always like shocking to me because i drink a lot of water and i buy a lot of water and it's just crazy thinking about how i could open up that bottle of water and you know take a gulp and then you know hours later start like you know itching my face and like you know peeling off skin i think that's a crazy and crazy uh way to end a movie it makes you think and uh, uh this is question number six a horror TV stuff you watch or that I've watched. I mean, I've always watched The Monsters and Adam's Family, and like The Twilight Zone. Just like some horror elements, but it's more like science fiction-y. But 
You know, stuff like that I've watched, but I don't know. My favorite's got to be Tales from the Crypt. I gotta agree with Cellular Terra on that one. Uh, Tales from the Crypt is classic. I love Tales from the Dark Side. You know, Chillers and fucking. Let's see what else. And there's, you know, The Veil with uh, Boris Karloff or the you know, virus. Well, it's more of a uh, movie, like you know, a thing of virus movie macabre. But Tales from the Crypt. Even when I was a little kid, just watching that shit. It's always been my favorite TV show. And it will probably always be. I'm so excited for the Screen Factory releases to be coming out. Can't wait. We got like uh, another month, guys. But and the horror comics that you have read or that you're still reading, uh, the Tales from the Crypt comics, obviously. If you like the show and you like want to go deeper, the uh, comics from the 50s are just awesome. And then you know the Creep Show uh, comic, the uh, you know Stephen King one. Awesome stuff. Uh, a buddy of mine fucking has the uh, Walking Dead podiums, and I've read the first one, and it was pretty cool. But I'm not a big Walking Dead fan, so I didn't really, you know, uh, I I wasn't really like, pumped to read the second podium. But now, how many horror movies uh, do I own? I don't know. I mean, I got a shit ton on VHS and a bunch on Blu-ray and DVD. I mean, I have this whole wall right here. That's just, you know, boxes of DVDs and Blu-rays that I need to, you know, set up on these shelves and all that. And organize them. Which I plan on doing very soon. And once I do that, you know, I'll, just, I'll be showing them off to you guys. But I'm still in the process of organizing and putting things where they gotta go. I mean, my tapes back here are still all, like, you know, jimble jamble. I mean, just shit just randomly stacked up. But, uh, I don't know. I, I probably got... Maybe 800, I gotta say. Maybe 800 uh, horror movies. Yeah. Uh, worst horror film I've ever seen. I don't know if anybody's familiar with that movie Freak Show, the one that came out a few years ago by this chick that like joins this freak show thing. And this old, weird, drunk guy with these things on his body and like, his back or just being weird and shit. And at the end, how she just was like, skinned alive. As, like, you know... Uh, a show for the uh, the carnival circus, whatever it is. But the movie sucked. Oh man, I've seen a lot of shitty ass films and movies that are supposed to be horrible, but ones that I love. But this was just bad. The actors, the effects, how like the climax at the end wasn't even worth watching the first like 85 minutes of it. Uh, if you guys ever uh, see or hear of anybody wanting to, uh, like if you want to see that, or if you've heard of anybody, like, wanting to see that shit, say no. Freak Show is stupid. If you want to see a good freak movie, watch Todd Browning's, uh, 30s film, Freaks. That's a good one. But, uh, number 10, a sickest horror film. I gotta say August Underground, Mortem, the uh, second one in the trilogy. It's pretty fucking fucked up, man, I'm not gonna lie. I could talk about, uh, Lucifer for Valentine, too, but... His stuff is more of just, you know, the grossness, you know, puking and, you know, like, you know, dominatrix and, like, you know, abusive shit, but August Underground's brutal. And uh, number 11, uh, me to recommend one horror movie that's not my favorite, Stepford Wives, 1975, Catherine Ross, a great fucking movie, very underrated, I don't hear anybody talking about that, and it's crazy because it's, uh... Very good. It's more of a psychological horror, but it, it's fucking sick. I, I highly, highly recommend that movie. If you guys haven't seen it yet, the 1975 uh, version of Stepford Wives with Catherine Ross. And then uh, my favorite remake of a horror classic, I'd have to say, is John Carpenter's uh, version of The Thing. I love that. All the characters in that film, everything about it is just flawless. The, the effects, and you got the fucking... You know, just the atmosphere, the the place that they're at is so isolated that it's just scary in itself, you know. And just the characters, they were they were all so likable that you don't want anything to happen to any of them. And when when they're all dying, you see them like brutally getting fucked. And it's pretty wild. Definitely, I'd say uh, John Carpenter's uh, the thing. And the next, and this is the last question: is pick one movie that you would want to see in the theater. I mean, that would be hard, so hard, because there's so many that I'd love to see, like, you know, on a crazy big screen and really, really nice sound. I'd have to say probably a Clockwork Orange, though. That's one that I've been 
I've been really wanting to you know, hopefully come back out as a retrospect or something like that. It's, that's just a fucking classic in my opinion. But uh, and I also have a few people that I'm gonna uh, tag to uh, do videos. Definitely put them up. I want to hear your guys's you know opinions on this stuff. And um, the first one is gonna well they're all gonna be down here right under cellular terrors. Uh, URL so you guys can go to their page and subscribe to them and look for hopefully their horror tag video. But uh, the first one is going to be Dr. Gonzo Oboogie. The uh, second one, if someone hasn't already tagged him, uh, Moods616. Um, then an another one, if uh, he hasn't been tagged yet, uh, Todd, All Things Horror. And then last but not least, uh, Dr. Mike Face. And you know, keep uh, fighting on, guys, to keep uh, you know buying and enjoying horror films because they are some of the coolest stuff out there. I, uh, in, in my opinion, at least. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys. Take it easy. Thank you for watching. And if I had named you, you were tagged.